Welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am your host, Tom Downey, here with my way too early 53-man roster projection for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, as I was going through this, there were some pretty tough decisions I had to make, especially on some younger players on the defensive side of the ball. New defensive scheme and coordinator, 11 rookies have come in. Not undrafted ones, by the way. There is going to be some heavy roster competition, and I suspect some turnover as well. So we'll go position by position. I've only got two quarterbacks making the team early. Dak Prescott and also Garrett Gilbert. I don't see Cooper Rush making the roster. I do think Ben DiNucci has a shot. I also think you could sneak him onto the practice squad after a, well, not very good loan appearance this past year. So do you guys want the nooch on the roster? Get your votes in for me. Type Y for yes you do, or type N for eh, it's not really something that you want. Get your votes in for me. Y for yes or N for no. I'll also go light at the running back position. No fullback rostered. Shea Lanalua, most of the practice squad last year. Could be something similar this season. Couple undrafted free agents. I don't think they make it. So I got Zeke Elliott, Tony Pollard, Duh. And then also Rico Dowdle, who will have to fight for that roster spot, but there wasn't really all that much competition at it. All right, now for some interesting p p uh, position. You know, that's wide receiver, where Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, CeeDee Lamb are certifiable locks. I don't think any of the other spots, however, are guaranteed. Cedric Wilson, I think, is, is going to make the roster. I haven't projected, of course, too. But they could cut him and save some money. Same with Noah Brown, who I know they like on special teams. I do think Simi Fehoko makes the roster. We'll see if it says wide receiver four, five, or six. There are several undrafted free agents, which I'm sure one of you guys will always fall in love with because that's how the wide receiver spot works in Dallas. Whether it's Brandon Smith or TJ Vasher or, or Brennan Eagles or Osiris Mitchell, I think one of those UDFAs will make some noise, but we'll see if that's making the roster noise or making the practice squad instead. So who is going to be your surprise roster cut? There's always one of them. I think it could be Cedric Wilson or Noah Brown, although I did not project that in this video. This question is the pinned comment on today's video. So you get the ad break here, go scroll on down and get your votes in. Let's go to tight end now, the projected Cowboys tight end depth chart here. Blake Jarwin, Dalton Schultz, Jeremy Sprinkle, tight end one, two, and three. I will also throw in Sean McEwen as tight end four, and I'll mention keep an eye out for Nick Eubanks as well. I think the Cowboys carry four or three if they go with a fullback, maybe Shea Lanalua or Nick uh, Ralston, but keep an eye out for those four names there, Jarwin, Schultz, Sprinkle, and McEwen as the favorites to make the team. I want you guys to go subscribe to Chat Sports. The link is right there, bottom of your screen. We will also put it in both the comment section and in the description. We're trying to get to 250,000. Pretty impressive right there. If you love the NFL, which I think most of you guys do, and you want to make sure you're updated with what's going on beyond just America's team, go subscribe at youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Let's look now at the projected Cowboys offensive line on my 53-man roster projection here. I got nine guys, and the bottom of the roster was difficult. All right, Tyron Smith, Connor Williams, Tyler Biadish, Zach Martin, Lael Collins, all easy ones right there. I think Josh Ball's got a good chance and probably likely, if not a full-fledged lock, to make the roster. Same with Connor McGovern. That's seven guys right there. I think Ty Inseki makes it. Brandon Knight. Terrence Steele, oh, did they carry all three of those guys? Maybe. I went with nine, though, and I went with Knight over Terrence Steele because of his guard flexibility. So let's say the Cowboys only carry nine offensive linemen. Who are you guys cutting? Because they're too deep already at tackle. I even cut Matt F uh, Farniak as well, the seventh-round pick out of Nebraska. So pick one to cut for me. Type BK for Brandon Knight. Or type TN for Ty and Sucky, or type TS for Terrence Steele. Get your votes in for me in the comments section. Let's go to the projected offense or defense line. Excuse me now. Again, numbers game is, is difficult here. A lot of notable players I actually ended up cutting. I went with Demarcus Lawrence, Randy Gregory, Terrell Basham, Chauncey Golson, guys I consider basically locks at the edge rusher position. I included Dorrance Armstrong. More on that in a second. Neville Gallimore, Tristan Hill, Osa Odigizua, Brent Urban, Quinton Bahana. I actually kind of like that 
Very specific roles for all five of those guys who I think will all play. Odigi Zua, Tristan Elmore, pass rushers. Brett Irvin, a defensive end, deep tackle, hybrid flex guy uh, as a DT slash defensive end. I like Neville Gallimore. Quentin Bahanna, fatties only lives. So I did cut Carlos Watkins there. I'm not too broken up about that one. The one that hurt me, though, was cutting Bradley and I. Because I think with already 10 guys on the defensive line, carrying 11's a lot. So I think there is a very real possibility the Cowboys pick one of Bradley and I and Dorrance Armstrong. I would rather keep Bradley and I. I think I've made that very clear with my free and I campaign. But which one should actually be cut? Mm, that's a tough one. So get your votes in for me. Type BA for you'd rather keep Bradley and I or type DA for you'd rather keep Dorrance Armstrong. If you guys want daily Cowboys videos here, hit that big red button and subscribe. Link is below if you guys need it for whatever reason. But the Cowboys Report has videos coming out every single day on everything you need to know around America's team. News, rumors, trades, segments like this roster projection, for example. So if you want to be a smart Cowboys fan and have some fun along the way, hit that big red button and join us today. Let's go to linebacker now where I went light again. I only carried five of them. Jalen Smith, Micah Parsons, Leighton Vander Esch, Keanu Neal, and Jabril Cox. I'd say all five guys are pretty much roster locks because you know, obviously Dan Quinn loves Keanu Neal. Jalen Smith's contract is guaranteed. Parsons and Cox are valuable draft picks that the organization spent on them. And Vander Esch probably isn't going anywhere either. Now, if there's a trade... Okay, different conversation, but I'm not projecting trades right now. Which means I did cut three linebackers who I know for at least some of you guys, you're, you're fans of them. Anthony Hines III out of Texas A&M, Francis Bernard, and Luke Gifford. Some, at various points, you know, pet cats, if you will, during training camp. I would not be surprised if one of those guys made the roster. Two of them might be pushing it a little bit, but that battle for a sixth linebacker spot, if one is carried, could be fascinating. So how many linebackers will Dallas end up keeping? Again, I went lighter on linebacker at five. That's pretty much the minimum. Six is, or seven, I think are your other options in there. I did go lighter at linebacker, though, to add depth at other positions. So get your votes in for me. How many linebackers will Dallas end up keeping? Let's go to corner, and this is where I went heavy. Trevon Diggs, Kelvin Joseph, Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis are all roster locks. I would be stunned if they cut Nashawn Wright. I think C.J. Goodwin, who enlists as a corner, also makes the roster as a special teams guy. I did find room for Reggie Robinson. In the end, he got the nod over the likes of Terrence Steele and Bradley and I and one of those other linebackers. And one aside here, you do see Rashad Robinson on this list. He's suspended. So you don't have to cut him on, the, on your initial 53-man roster. You can carry him for free for two weeks and then make your call, which point he's probably going to get cut. So I did find room for Reggie Robinson on this roster, although it wasn't all that easy. So what do you guys think? Will Robinson make the roster this year? I think he is firmly on that bubble given the way this team has invested in the cornerback spot. Get your votes in for me. Type 1 for yes or type in 0 for no. To the worst unit on the roster, that is safety. I'm allowed to talk about it because it is a roster projection. Demonte Casey looked healthy at OTAs. A big deal there. Donovan Wilson, he's going to start for you. I'll go with Israel Mukwamu and Jerron Curse as the other guys. I would love an addition because it's like Darian Thompson and Stephen Parker behind these guys. Like That's not going to get it done at all. And then finally, special teams. Greg Zerline, I went with Brian Anger over Hunter Nicewander. Sorry, guys, but the Cowboys paid Anger a little bit more. He's probably going to win the job. And then, of course, the new long snapper, because the GOAT LP is gone. It's Jake McQuaid instead. So that is your 53-man roster there. The projected special teamers, Greg Zerline, Brian Anger, and Jake McQuaid as well. Let's go to the practice squad then. M quick reminder on the rules here. 12 guys. There are some rules on the accrues and whatnot, but everyone works on this list. And I went young anyway. I found Ben DiNucci. He's got a spot there. Shea Wolanalua, the fullback. I went with two receivers. I think anything more probably would have been a little bit too much. Brandon Smith and TJ Vasher. They paid Smith a decent signing bonus, and Vasher's got some fun upside as a big-bodied receiver. 
I did carry an extra tight end. They did that pretty frequently last year. Nick Eubanks out of Michigan. He's on there. The draft pick that did not make the initial roster, Matt Farniak out of uh, Nebraska. Guard, center, hybrid, a, t a spot the team is frankly thin at as it is. Rondell Carter, an, an under that, that they loved last year. I did get Bradley and I on there. I'm not sure he'd actually make it to your practice squad, but eh, why not? Let's have some fun with it. Another guy they paid a decent amount of money out of Oregon, Austin uh, Falui. Uh, I think I pronounced that right. If not, I'm sorry. Francis Bernard, Anthony Hines. Sorry, Luke Gifford. I don't think they're going to carry three linebackers. And the lone undrafted free agent safety, Tyler Coyle, who is pretty fast and fits as a fun little developmental type of option. Then I wanted to briefly hit some of the notable cuts. Guys that I did not put on the practice squad for whatever reason. Malik Turner, I think he just kind of hangs around undraft, uh, as a free agent. Carlos Watkins could be a, a practice squad guy. They're, they're, they do have uh, two players with unlimited recruiter seasons, so that could make some sense. Same with Maurice Kennedy. I don't care about Darian Thompson. He's not very good, and he's expensive. He's gone. And finally, Terrence Steele, who I would have put on the practice squad. But because he started games for you last year and got better in the back half, if you were to cut him, which, again, I think is very possible, I don't think he makes it to your practice squad. In general, the guys you cut normally do, but Terrence Steele, a tackle with, with starting experience, I think someone would claim him, which is why you might actually be able to trade him for an asset.